Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And unlike most days when I'm running the camera by myself or Saquon's running around doing 10 other things at a gig, we are in the studio today. Got my man Jeb behind the camera with the good gear. And guess what? I got some of my good gear out as well. Today, I wanna give you an in-studio look at one of my favorite things I've bought in the past several years. It's in the lighting department and these are the infamous Astera A x1 pixel tubes we're going to take an in-depth look in the studio at what these things can do and how if you want to make the investment because i'm not going to lie to you they're expensive if you want to make the investment what it's going to take to pull off looks that i pull off y'all ready let's get into it now First thing you'll notice is if you buy the whole complete kit, they come in this killer road case. Wait till you see the inside of this. This, my friends, is German design <laughs> at its finest. Woo! Dude, if that's not sexy, I don't know what is. So you got your charger right here. You got your eight pixel tubes, four on the top, four on the bottom. Comes with tons of hardware. You've got these clips, these kind of O clips for mounting or C clips for mounting. These go on these and can be used on tripods. Um, you've also got these really nice feet that we'll take a look in a minute. You've got eight of those, some pins over here. And then of course, you've got your special twist lock charging cable that goes right here. So that's basically what I keep in this box. You also, if you don't end up using the uh, iPad app, just have a really basic remote. And you can see I haven't even taken the plastic out because I haven't used it yet. So let's do this, guys. Let's grab a couple. These are already charged up, ready to go. Let's grab one or two off the charging station here and put a couple of the little feet on it and see what they can do with the iPad app. I want to show you guys how that works. Now, one more thing I do want to mention that you'll need in addition to what's in this kit is this little guy here. It's called the Astera Box, or I think the official model number is the ART7-U. This is what communicates from these, talk to this, and then talk to the iPad, which I'm gonna show you what the screens look like in just a few moments. So again, you'll definitely need one of these Astera box to talk to the tubes, unless you wanna use the aforementioned remote control that's included, but you don't, you want, you want this in the iPad app, trust me. All right, so these just charging cable comes out of the side, they pop right off. Now I know they look super fragile. In fact, they look like those fluorescent light bulbs you probably have thrown in a dumpster before it exploded, but they're not. They're really durable, really well built. The thing you'll notice is on each side, they've got threads in them. So not only could you put the included eye bolt in here and hang them from the ceiling by a string with the eye bolt, but these little feet that I was mentioning also go right in here. And these are really cool because you don't have to sit here and go like that and do these big cranks. They designed them so that you can just go right, right there and just turn that big wheel and they tighten right up. And then, boom, spread it out, set it up. And then of course, turn the, the clear part towards the audience. Because they're not full 360 coverage. I did want to point that out. They do have like a painted backing on them. So there you have it. We got two of them set up. Make sure I turn those towards you guys. Ready to power up. So normally what I do is power up my little Astera box and I clamp it actually onto my DJ booth. I mean, you can clamp it on your belt if you want. You can put it anywhere you want within reasonable distance of the tubes themselves. Then I just kind of hold this power button up here. It'll go green. And then it'll usually go to the last program I was running. So I think I was just running something crazy, I guess. And now they're powered up. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we will get our iPad and go to the Astera app. Okay guys, so got my iPad here. Normally it's in a case, calm down. Gonna open up my Astera app here. And basically what you got is two full pages of pre-done, if you will, 
effects or different kind of motions or sound activated looks. Right now, I just have them in the amber mode, which is probably how I would leave them up until dancing started. I can go in and change the color of the amber if I wanted it a little bit more chill. I can reduce the intensity or the brightness. You got all kinds of things. I mean, blue pulse, boom, that looks cool. You got rainbow. If you wanna go rainbow, you've got, I like this three piece, this is super cool. I mean, these things are just so cool. I mean, even like the flashing when the dancing gets going, you can hold some of these and get some different kind of movements. Boom, 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 boom. And then I can let off and it'll go away. Um, over on the other page, again, anything where you see the little dancing man goes with the beat, which is super cool. I mean, I just can't tell you enough. The strobe, I love the strobe. What's the fast strobe's cool. I mean, these are nuts, guys. They don't affect cameras, like, so the photographers love them. I, I really am just blown away with the Astera AX1s. I, I can tell you this right now, before you even say it, think it, nobody sent me these. I paid $5,000 plus for all this stuff. I'm not sponsored by Astera. I am not affiliated with Astera. They didn't pay me to make this video. I'm making this on my own accord. I paid for these with money out of my wallet that I made DJing, like period, hands down. These are so cool, a total game changer. I've really been even taking the movers and leaving those in the van and just taking eight of these out and creating light shows with them all over North Carolina for the past few months. So um, that's kind of my look at these. Now, so we've talked about the Astera AX1s or the Pixel Tubes, whatever you want to call them. We've talked about the Astera app that is basically free and controls these guys. If you have what the Astera box that we talked about, we've seen the case, we've seen how they charge. But one thing that you are going to need if you want to get them up off the ground or you don't want to hang them from a ceiling is you're going to need some proper stands. Now, Jeb, I'm going to get you to swing that camera around and show them what a tripod looks like. So for quite some time, I was using these tripods, right? These are camera tripods. This is what Jeb and I use here in the studio to create content. They don't look very good, do they? Well, a friend of mine out in Seattle just a month or so ago sent me this next thing that we're gonna take a look at. I think you guys are going to love these. Let's get into it. Are you guys ready to see the most badass stands ever for the Astera Pixel Tubes? Here we go. Complete with the custom case. What? So, what do we have here? We have heavy duty steel base plates. I mean, heavy duty with leveling feet. If you're on an uneven surface, you can take these, screw them in or out to level the feet out. Drop that. Next. All aluminum construction with the threaded in here, M10, to go right there. And then our little guy right there, M5, to go into where? Of course, the bottom of the pixel tube. So all you do is screw that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just raise them up a little bit. Tighten down there. Grab me a pixel tube over here. Again, you got your threaded in right here. I'm just gonna screw that right on there until it gets tight. And then boom, I'm ready to go. So that's pretty high. I'm like, I don't know, five, eight. So it's already over my head. If I wanted to, I could go even higher. What is that, Jeb? It's probably by the time you're at the top of this tube, what? Eight foot? Well, you're five, eight. Five, eight. Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe eight foot. Eight, eight to nine? Yeah. So again, these were made by a company called Lightsmiths out in Seattle. He's uh, now effectively taking orders. I'll put the link down below and you can pick up a pair. Again, subtle warning, they're not cheap, but I'll promise you this, as somebody that is in the design and manufacturing business, 
As you know, we build the Bun Gear Command Centers right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. These are very, very well done. He spared no expense on the base plate or these aluminum uh, stands uh, or any of the hardware that raises them, lowers them. These are very well done stands. I will stand behind them. You can get the case with the custom insert as well. I mean, honestly guys, I know you can get a tripod on Amazon for $19.99, but are you really gonna wanna put a $5,000 set of lights on a $19 tripod, which you also, I didn't mention, but you have to buy different kinds of adapters to get those clamps to work. They never really line up quite up and down perpendicular uh, or vertical to the floor because they always seem to have a little bit of lean or sway to them. This is the way to go. These are the stands that I'm gonna be using for as long as I have these lights. So what do you think, guys? That is my in-studio look at the Astera AX1s. We turned the uh, studio lights down now to give you a little bit more of a uh, look at how they look running in the evening. We've got the window closed over there, but it's still daylight, still a lot of natural light in here. You can see how bright these are. These things will light up your dance floor. They're killer. Again, nobody paid me to make this video. I just love these things and I know you will too. Sizable investment on the stands from Lightsmiths and the Astera AX1s, but I promise you it will get you your money back, whether you sell them as an upgrade, which I don't, I just include them in the Joe Bun experience, which again, I charge more than my DJs do anyway. So I take out my command center and these and my Evolve 50s in white, and I've got my own kind of signature look. So I don't upcharge for them or upsell them. I know you could and probably make your money back a lot faster if you wanted to. I'm gonna put the links down below to my friend Ryan at Rock the House up in Cleveland. He's who I bought mine from. You can reach out to Ryan if you'd like to get your own set and he will make sure to take care of you with good pricing. Also, I'm gonna put a link down below to exactly the website where you can get these kick-ass stands. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video and you're enjoying the channel. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Give this video a like, leave a comment below. What do you think about these AX1s? And I wanna know, I wanna hear from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and keep on watching new videos every single week. Peace.